Welcome back. It's first weekend in November. It's getting cold. The leaves behind me are changing. You guys have been requesting this item for a long time. Um, one of my most requested jackets on the channel for barber items. And I finally got one in last week. I took it out for a spin this week. Still has the tags in it. It was a special, special jacket. I had to go out of the country sort of to get this one and um, get right into it. It's the Barbara Ashby jacket. <laughs> Here I got the navy blue color with the muted tartan. It's a beige tartan and this jacket, what's special about this one, it's one of the last ones that's made in England. <laughs> so it says made in England there. When you get this, you'll notice the ones that are made in England would have it under the Barber logo there. Um, and if you look inside the Barber Care behind that pocket there, there's going to be several tags in there. And it's going to say Barber Ashby Small as well as um, behind that tag. It will say made in England so you're gonna look at that to verify that the jacket that you're getting is made in England as well as a long barber tag which is kind of cool not really seen that in jackets before um, this one was 199 pounds but because the pound and the dollar is sort of neck and neck it came out to about $230 um, US whereas if you were to get this in the US it'll be 399 US so it's kind of cheap enough to go overseas to get your barber jackets or anything in, in London or the UK because of the Brexit. Prices are sort of neck and neck with the US dollar. So it's kind of really cool. So I got this in a size small in the Ashby. I'm wearing a Barber Bedale in a C36, which is sort of like a men's, same as a men's US uh, 38 suit size, regular. And I'm gonna put this on, put my Ashby on so you guys can see. So the Ashby is sort of supposed to be the slimmer modern version of the Vidal jacket. And this one still has the tags in it actually. So you get the um, Barber Ashby, the product tag, as well as um, it still has the um, price, 199 pounds. So it's a little cheaper in the UK right now. Whereas a couple, a couple of year, months ago, it would have been a lot more money in US dollars, but because it's neck and neck almost the same so So this is the size small, it measures 21 inches across the chest, 31 inches down the spine from the base of the collar to the hem. And the sleeves are actually really kind of long for the size, it's 20 inches from armpit to end of the cuff. So it's a really long sleeve. Um, point of that being is you could roll it up and you get a little corduroy action going on inside the, um, inside the cuff, which is kind of cool. It does not have the storm, acrylic storm cuff as the, the Bedale has that acrylic uh, storm cuff there whereas this doesn't it doesn't have a storm cuff so that keeps you ex extra warm as well as the Bedale jacket is mo much more functional because it has if you look at the sleeve construction the sleeve is a raglan sleeve on the, on the Bedale whereas there's no seam on the top of the sleeve or the shoulder so water would just bead right off of that on the Ashby you got that top seam from the neck all the way down to the uh, cuff. So it's one of the things that makes this, I think, less functional than a um, Bedale or Beaufort. It does not have the raglan sleeve. It has a seam here and it's two extra seams on the, on the side of the sleeve as well as a center seam down the back. Now these seams are done to make the jacket slim fitting, but it reduces waterproofness of the jacket because once the wax dries out, water will seep through that seam. So it's very interesting that they would do that. It sacrifices functionality for style, I guess. So it's slim fit style. Also, the sleeves are not articulated on this. The whole thing moves around when you move your arms. So it, the Bedale and Beaufort jackets has articulated sleeve. This does not. So I don't know if the value of this is $399 versus $379. If I was deciding between two jackets, a Bedale or this, and the slim fit wasn't a big deal for me. I'd definitely get the Bedale. It's a much more better value in terms of you get the functionality of better waterproofness, as well as the articulated sleeve is a big deal breaker for me because these jackets are not cheap. You're paying over $300 for a jacket in the US. You kind of want the full, the full thing. You want the full arsenal. 
So you also have the chest pockets up here, or their hind warmer pockets, which are fleece lined. So similar, similar style, almost identical to to the Bedale jacket. You have the barber logo on the pockets. The pockets are lined with that muted tartan. I don't know if you can see there, as well as the silk oil, traditional silk oil finish logo right there. This comes in olive color that has the classic tartan lining. This is the muted tartan lining. There's also a black color with a red tartan lining, as well as the limited edition Union Jack flag lining on all colors. But this is a dark navy blue, and it's not the same navy blue that Barbara used in the Padale and Beaufort of past. It's a much darker blue than that, and even the collar. So what happens with that, it looks black in certain lightings. Like if it's late night, it looks like a black colored jacket. But in bright sunshine, it's a blue jacket. Kind of like the dynamics of the color. It looks black or blue, depending on how you look at it. I've never had a jacket with a muted tartan. It looks really good. It's very classic. Now, because of the cut and the slim fit of this, um, I could have worn a medium, but the medium gets very wide and boxy. But the, the small fits me much better. But I can't fit a business suit or a business jacket or uh, much, you know, much more than a thin sweater under this. It's more for wearing like, like a long sleeve T-shirt or just a business shirt, maybe. But you're just not gonna wear a lot of layers under this jacket, so it's designed for that to to look slim fit. And also, if you have a very athletic, very rugby football player body. You're very bulky and big. It's not gonna hurt for you. you might as well just get the Badale or the Beaufort jacket. It's not a jacket for a big guy. It's more for like a slender guy. Even a woman might wear this jacket much better than a big guy or a man. So it's a very feminine kind of feel jacket. It's very lightweight as well. It's not as warm as the Badale or the Beaufort jacket. It's very lightweight. Inside the sleeves, you have that nylon polyester there. It's very, it feels waterproof. It's very a, a rigid nylon polyester blend there. You have the um, the Cordura sort of waterproof um, material down there in the lining. So it's the same lining as the Bedale jacket, where it's half tartan and half um, waterproof material. You also have this extra um, flap right there at the bottom. It's a corduroy lined flap, which is kind of cool. And it takes a zipping liner as well as well as a hood so it takes the same hood as the Bedale and Beaufort jackets and you have the hood flap um, snaps back here for the hood and you have the zip in liner there so it's a two-way two-way zip there goes up and down there so this one is made in England the newer ones are made in Tunisia or different parts Bulgaria maybe Vietnam I've seen so it's really hard to get one of these. You might have to go across the pond to the UK to get one that's still made in England. And it might be an old stock. The new stock are all made different parts. But I had to get the one that's made in England so I could review it properly. I'm not going to review something that's not made in England. So this is the way Barbara intended it to be. Now, you do have a lot of seams on that sleeve that I mentioned there. You have two there and then one there. So it's not going to be as waterproof as the Bedale jacket. And... That's going to be my review for the price. If you are tossing up between the two jackets, the Bedale and Ashby, definitely get the Bedale in every situation. But if slim fit and, and a slimmer fit jacket is very important to you, then the Ashby is not going to, it's not going to ruin your day. You know, it's going to put a dent in your pocket. But um, it's a good jacket. Uh, I prefer this color to the olive because the buttons match the color. The olive color jacket has um, sort of like a beige tan button color. So I kind of like that. And I have a lot of olive um, barber jackets already so I'm thinking I'm gonna give this one to my wife I'm not gonna I don't see myself wearing this much more over my Bedale and my Beaufort jackets um, so that's that that's the Ala the Barbara Ashby jacket review as well so more videos coming guys enjoy